In this short video, I just wanna show you the new Google Business Profile feature that allows you to add your social media links to your Google Business Profile, formerly known as Google My Business. So let's jump to my computer real quick. So here we are on Google. I have logged into my Gmail account, the Gmail account that I use to access my Google business profile. You can see this by looking in the top right hand corner and I can see my face. So make sure you log in to your Gmail or email account that you originally set up your Google business profile or Google my business account. Then you're simply just going to search for your business. I'm going to search for Big West Marketing. Since I'm logged into my account, it's going to allow me access to make changes. This is the new way to make changes on your Google business profile. I'm going to click on edit profile right here. Now, this is the dashboard that allows me to make all the changes to my account. Be very careful that you do not make any other changes at this point. Google may suspend you if you start making too many changes or big changes or even adjustments on your business name, website, hours of operation. Just be very careful. You do not want to get suspended. We're going to scroll down to where it says social profiles and you can see this is a new feature. It even says new right there. I click the little pencil icon. And now it's going to allow me to choose my different social profile. So I am going to choose first my Instagram profile. You notice this is all branded to Big West Marketing, okay? I don't have other businesses or variations of my business or different versions of my business name. This is all Big West Marketing. Very important you keep everything consistent with Google, especially since Google is on a rampage to suspend and weed out businesses that may be violating Google guidelines or doing something deceptive on their Google account. So be very careful of this. Okay, I added all of my social profiles. Notice I don't have a Pinterest, I don't have a TikTok. If you're a service-based business, which is who we work with for SEO and web design, you mainly just need a Facebook, a possibly YouTube, and then if you like to do Instagram, fine, make an Instagram. For your personal profile, you may want a LinkedIn. You don't need a Twitter, you don't need a Pinterest, and you don't need a TikTok. But if you like those channels and you want to put them in there, fine. Just don't feel obligated and think that you have to have those for a service-based business. Now, right away, I can see that I've got three of my profiles listed here. I don't know where Twitter is and I don't know where YouTube is, so I'm going to come back and check this later to make sure they did show up. Okay, I waited about an hour and a half and I came back in and as you can see, it is now showing four of my five socials that I linked in there. When I go up back into the edit section and I go down to social profiles, it's no longer saying that it's in pending mode. It's not showing Twitter. I'm not sure why, but Google is buggy especially when they come out with new features. So I'm not going to worry about it. I don't really care about Twitter to be honest with you. If I did, I would get into the forums and see if I could go back and forth with some product experts. And if I really cared about getting that Twitter on there, I'd go over to Google support and I have a whole nother video on exactly how to contact Google support and go back and forth with them by email. So check that out. And once again, my name is Joe Burnish with BigWestMarketing.com. We help service businesses and contractors with their web design, their SEO, and their Google business accounts in order to get ranked up high and generate more phone calls in the long term. If you're interested in our services, check out BigWestMarketing.com, book a free call, and I will see you in the next video.